Today I'll be sharing with you the perfect recipe of how to make the perfect thriller film. First you need 175 grams of black. The call to any thriller film is an answer unanswered question. The conventional structure is a false path followed by clues and a final resolution. For example, we chose to follow this narrative by including flashlights to portray Nathan's suspicion. Our opening unanswered question is what Nathan does afterwards. Next, we have one teaspoon of baking powder. The essential in a thriller film is the camera work. We used handheld jolting movement during the chase and murder scene to portray Nathan's inner turmoil. This is common in thrillers. We also used a lot of track and pans to allow the audience to recognise the importance of characters. Now we need three. Another significant element to our film was conventional themes. Crime. Envy. And death. Now we need 150 grams of plaster sugar. We've chosen to change the recipe a bit and add 175 grams instead. We developed the common use of lack of action in thriller films. At the opening, we had a chase, fight and death scene in the first two minutes. This made the audience question as to why a seemingly important character died so soon and what Nathan's next move would be. We were aware that we were being examined and therefore we wanted to show off our skills within the first few minutes. So okay, now we need to add 175 grams of butter. A vital part of our opening was the editing. We chose to adopt the style of many thrillers and use fast paced editing to create tension and adrenaline for the audience. The fast cuts between each shot do not allow the audience to comprehend what is happening as it's so sudden. The fast paced editing juxtaposes the first half of the opening while we aim to give the audience a full sense of security. Finally, we can add half a teaspoon of vanilla extra. In films like Shutter Island, directors have often created a full sense of security to increase the shock for the audience. We did this through mise en scène, for example, the bright lighting, homely setting, and the romantic music. Now we need to divide our mixture between two tins. In our film, there is a contrast between the first and second half. As said before, we tried to lure the audience into a full sense of security in the first half. We aim to show through the mise en scène and the slow, soothing, diegetic music that the mood is calming and peaceful. In the second half, we used a dark setting in an alleyway near the graveyard. Shadows and dark lighting are conventions in thriller films that we implemented. They are used to represent the inner darkness within characters and can also add to the tension and eeriness that was created. The use of low-key lighting creates a heavier tone and the dominant colour is usually black. Now to bring it all together we can add some icing. A common convention in thrillers is manipulation of perspectives. For example, Nathan seems to be a loving husband but it actually turns out to be a psycho killer. Furthermore, we altered the focus on our camera to show Nathan's distorted viewpoint and his slanted thought process. And finally, the sprinkles. Our typography was elegant and scripted to resemble Nathan and Faith's aspiration to perfection. We also feel that by choosing the colour of white, we are able to portray the connotation of con we are able to portray the connotation of purity. This also confused the audience and changed their expectations of the film so that they can be shocked and surprised when watching the actual film. And that is how to make a perfect thriller film. Ta-da!